The number of plant crematoria and gas chambers at Auschwitz and the ultimate purpose of their use varied over the first several months of the camp's operation. The first crematorium at Auschwitz I was already in operation since August of 1940 and the first gas chamber since the fall of 1941. In view of the high mortality rate of Soviet prisoners of war, in the first half of 1942, the camp authorities decided to build a modern facilities for incinerating corpses at Birkenau as well. Everything changed with the inclusion of Auschwitz in the plan of Nazi Germany to exterminate European Jews, which ultimately resulted in the construction of four huge crematoria at the Birkenau camp. Originally, there were no plans to build gas chambers by the crematoria. However, it soon became apparent that the provisionally gas chambers, the so-called Little White House and Little Red House, would not be sufficient to murder the Jews deported in ever-increasing numbers of transports. The camp authorities, together with engineers from the Topfunzune company, which supplied the Auschwitz camp with modern equipment for incinerating corpses, decided to change the plans for the facilities under construction. Thus, for example, in Crematorium 2, Two underground rooms designed as morgues were converted into a gas chamber and an undressing room. Gas chambers 2 and 3 were underground rooms posing as bathhouses with showers. They were entered from the undressing room. Zyklon B pallets were dropped through holes in the ceiling into special wire mesh columns where the gas was released. In order to ventilate it more quickly and thus reduce the time needed to remove the corpses, the chambers were equipped with system of vents. The area of each gas chamber was 210 square meters. The bodies were transported to the crematorium located at ground level by elevator. Gas chambers and crematoria 4 and 5 were entirely at the ground level and were divided into several smaller rooms. Zyklon B was thrown in through openings in the walls of the building. The gas chambers at Birkenau were in operation since the spring of 1942. Modern crematoria with gas chambers were put into operation a year later. The extermination infrastructure remained in operation until late fall of 1944. Crematorium 4 was severely damaged on October 7, 1944, when members of the Sonderkommando, a special group of prisoners, mostly Jews, assigned to work carrying the corpses of mass-murdered people out of the gas chambers and burning them, organized the only armed rebellion to take place at Auschwitz. During the uprising, the prisoners set fire to and permanently damaged the building. Towards the end of Auschwitz existence, the SS first began dismantling technical equipment from the crematoria and gas chambers, and finally, in order to cover up traces of the crime, blew up the buildings.